If you had the money, if would money, you buy it? if money was of no object, yes, this apartment ticks every box you could possibly want it to tick. If you ever find yourself living in Japan, odds are you're going to be renting an apartment, with the average cost of an apartment in Tokyo costing about 100,000 yen or $1,000 per month. But what if you had a blank check to live in the apartment of your dreams? Last month, my good friend Alex, who runs a luxury real estate company in Tokyo, took us around a $20,000 per month apartment in central Tokyo, which came with four bedrooms and even a secret rooftop garden. Today though, we're going on a tour of an apartment that not only costs more at $25,000, but is designed for a single resident. Uh, I'm not really sure how it could be more expensive, but be aimed at a single person. So let's go and find out and see how it justifies that utterly ludicrous price tag. Well, it's good to see you again, Alex, and Scotty, of course. Yeah, it's great to see you, Chris. Munching away on the <laughs> bone. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex is the founder of iHome Real Estate, a luxury real estate company, and every couple of months he likes to take me to an absurd apartment and make me feel depressed. Isn't that right, Alex? That is right. So did you like the last place I, I, I took you to? I did. We went to a $20,000 apartment in Harajuku last time, but surely you haven't got anywhere that is as ridiculous as that place was. You'd be mistaken. What is that? This is the ultimate apartment for Tony Stark. All right? Tony this Stark. is Tony Stark's apartment if he had one in the middle of Tokyo. This is actually a one bedroom apartment. One bedroom. This is a one bedroom apartment and it is actually the largest one bedroom apartment and most expensive in all of Japan. Okay, let's go and uh, check out this absolutely ridiculous looking bachelor pad. $25,000 a month. The apartment we're looking at today is situated in Shibuya about as central as you can get in the Tokyo area. And helping us film the apartment once again is fellow YouTuber Sharla, who will also be looking at an $8 million Tokyo house. Be sure to check it out after our tour of the bachelor pad. So we're at the entrance of what is probably the craziest apartment, one bedroom apartment in all of Tokyo, probably in all of Japan for that matter. The front door is glass, you can actually see into the apartment. But I'm guessing you can't use the elevator unless you've got like a key right. Here. You're absolutely right. You actually need a key to get into the elevator and to get up the elevator. Okay. So, yes. Mm. And I've noticed there's an air conditioning unit for the entrance alone, for this little tiny room. Yes. An air conditioning unit. And that is a pretty heavy duty one too. That's uh, better air conditioning than most apartments in Japan have just for this one little room. So, you ready to see the rest of this? Begin. Right. I'm not ready, no, but let's go. Yeah, let's do it anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. The temperature <laughs> change as you get in. What is the first thing you have to do when you get into a Japanese apartment or house? Have a drink, gin tonic. Yes, but right before that, there's something you need to do. Ta ah, take your shoes yeah, off. Exactly, yeah. take your shoes off. Very good point. So, where do you put these shoes? On the floor, like in the a floor normal or in the closet or something. Or how about into the walk-in shoe closet? I, I didn't realise it was going to be that big. Yeah. <laughs> I, I knew there was going to be a closet, but I thought it'd be like it would end there, not be a whole room. Yeah. Good God. They fit perfectly. Yeah, yeah. You have a little, you have a little space on the left and right. Why do people need this much shoe space, shoe closet? Like, I've got two pairs of shoes at best. Yeah, you probably need another forty-eight pairs to fit this place. <sighs> Just makes me feel inadequate. But hopefully, the rest of the apartment won't do that. <laughs> so you step in through this hallway, go right past the first of four toilets, and you are in this insane living room. Oh my god, look at the views. We've got like three different angles. You've got Shibuya, you've got Tokyo Tower over there, yeah. and Roppongi Hills. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is one hell of a view and one hell of an echo as well. That's how big it is. Listen to the echo. That gives you a sense of scale. Now I just want you to imagine something, all right? So you are the head of a Middle Eastern oil company, right? You okay. come over to Easy Japan. To you come over to Japan, right? Where do you live? I want to live here. You want to live here, exactly. Yeah. This is the place for the kings of the Middle Eastern oil companies. What? But I can't become a king of a Middle Eastern oil company. Can we have a Not hypothesis like where I can actually live here? So I want to show you, by the way, just what you get when you pay 2.5 million yen, or you know, about twenty-five thousand dollars for an apartment every month. Uh, you can come over here, this is where you would put your TV, right? Mm -hmm. but if you look really closely, this is actually a Wi-Fi router. This is built in and you have free Wi-Fi here. Free Wi-Fi for $25,000? Yeah. What a bargain! Just come and take a look at this. 
And as you can see, this is absolutely insane. This area is zones not for high buildings, so this is one of the highest buildings over here. Right, yeah. yeah which means that you have pretty much, other than that guy, uh, unobstructed views of most of the most populous parts of Tokyo. How would you sell this in a real estate manner, in a real estate terms? I would say that you have unmatched views of downtown Tokyo, and you can see what it looks like right now in the daytime, but just imagine what it's going to look like at night, because you have Roppongi Hills, you have Toranamon Hills over there as well, and you also have that large red and white popsicle Tokyo Tower. Just unbelievable views at night especially. So there's one more thing I have to show you just in this kitchen area. We step through here, we go to a little balcony, right? And if you just follow me through. Step right around here. You'll come and you'll see there's actually a second entrance over here. That's not what I wanted to show you. That's not important. What is important is, so you have all this garbage from this crazy party that you just threw. Where do you put it, right? Normally in a Japanese apartment, you would have to take it all the way downstairs and, you know, uh, put it in the big garbage room. You That's in the nice the building. Here. You could just... Throw it Maybe throw it off the balcony. If you're crazy, throw it off the balcony. To the peasants below. To the peasants below. But if you are actually a normal person that lives here, you would step over here to this guy right here, the garbage storage room. You actually have your own personal garbage room, which the uh, the guy that cleans the place every once in a while and waters your plants uh, will actually come and empty for you periodically. So that's what you get for this kind of money. So we just saw what the kitchen looks like, what the massive living room looks like. You went outside, just imagine. Okay. What's up those stairs? Why are, there, why are there stairs? Where does it go? To heaven. All right, the stairway to heaven. Right. You're gonna see that in a moment. But before we show you that, I have to show you this. So you had your big party. You had all your diplomat friends over. You had all your crazy YouTuber friends come over and you just, you're slush. Right. You need a place to crash. You got everybody out. It's already three in the morning. What do you do? You go and you pass out. So let me show you where you pass out. Come on over here. Go through here. We have another big door. Open it up. What do you find? You'll see what is probably, I would say the biggest bathtub that I've ever seen in a Japanese apartment. This is basically, you know, a Bellagio sized jacuzzi right next to your bedroom. And it is absolutely massive. Oh, you want to show them how big it is? Can I get in it? Yeah, go for it. Absolutely. Wow, you could fit. I mean, you could probably fit two, three people in here. You could definitely fit two or three people in there. Let me climb in right next to you oh, just man. to show. Yeah, just... Uh, oh, God. Yeah, this is quite spacious in here. I will say, though, there is no TV. That is one, you know, downside to this place. But, I mean, you've got the view out the window. Exactly. Who needs a TV when you have that view of Tokyo Tower again? Yes, you can actually see Tokyo Tower from your bathtub. Wait, is, so this is, is this like a normal bath that people use as a bath? Yeah, this, this is, is not just a giant jacuzzi that we can use for fun. No, and uh, you're going to see why this is the normal bath. All right? Right. There's, there's something bigger than this. Nicer. So you're all washed up, you want to go back to bed. What do you do? Open up this door, and you are in your massive bedroom. Massive for Japanese standards, at least. But you can see the carpet is actually made from the same material as tatami. So it's nice and feels rough under your feet. I wonder what it was. It does feel kind of rough. Yeah. My sock's been shredded. Uh, so you would have like a big bed. There, right? I would have the big bed right over here overlooking that other balcony, which you probably didn't even notice until now. Yes, there's three balconies in this, and one of them is in the bedroom. It's like a right? secret balcony. It's a secret balcony. I like that. Yeah. If you're having a house party here, yeah. you can sort of slip off to your secret balcony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have a drink. Have a drink, have a smoke. Look over Tokyo Tower. Yeah. And then roll into your king size bed. One other thing, so we showed you the walk in shoe closet. Of course, you have to have a walk in closet for a place like this. Oh my if you God. follow me, yeah, if you follow me, you can keep on following me and keep on following <laughs> me. You'll see we're actually in the closet right now. But like, look how big it is. Yeah. And I don't think it's really gonna show on film, but this is about the size of, uh, I'd say, the normal kitchen, maybe, in I mean, a Japanese could, apartment. You can have another bedroom in here if you wanted. Yeah, you could. Wouldn't yeah. be a fun bedroom, but you could definitely fit a bedroom in here. Absolutely. So we've seen the, uh, the living space, we've seen the sitting room, the three or four hundred balconies overlooking Tokyo. What is up the staircase, Alex? Like, you've been very elusive this whole time, and that is the only thing I've cared about since walking through that door, because it's quite an imposing staircase. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's an amazing design, so why don't we find out what's up there? Can't beat the free Wi-Fi. Surely not. Fucking hell. Yep. 
What is this? Uh, I think you explained it perfectly well. That is the reason I said that the bath below is not really, you know, all that interesting. I mean, yes. I, I thought I thought the four-person jacuzzi downstairs was good. Yeah. What is that? This is, this is a massive jacuzzi. I'd probably fit maybe five or six people into there. I mean, in a previous video we did, yes. the $20,000 apartment, yes. we had a kind of nice outdoor garden, mm -hmm. right? Uh, this one is, is better, it's way better, because look at the view. Yeah, and you can't beat the view. You can't beat the view, and also it's a little easier to use this one. And that one was just a jungle. This is really a nicely, you know, trimmed garden. Aloe vera. Aloe vera. It's hers. Yes, there's what actually. What are we waiting for? There's rosemary. So let's come on over here to the bathroom. And uh, the toilet's going to say hello to me. Hello, toilet. Just opened up for me. <laughs> and uh, now, Chris, you want to come on into the bathroom? No. No? All right, well, I'll <laughs> put it to you anyway. So, yeah, here's. <laughs> that's a big old bath. Oh my god, that's deeper than I thought. Let me climb in as well. It's more like a cave than a cave. It is a cavernous large piece of uh, porcelain. And uh, by the way, it lights up. I'm not gonna show you right now, but it does let's light fill, up. Let's fill it up. Yeah. Let's, let's take this video to the next level. Bubble bath it is. God, yes. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I mean, the views. Mm -hmm. This would be a really good place for a party. Yeah, this would Do you think they did design this floor with kind of party in mind? Of course they did, yeah. So that's the thing. So this building actually has one unit per floor, and each of the other units is almost exactly the same as the first floor that we were on. This is the only one with its own second living room and jacuzzi on the roof with views of rosemary. <laughs> yeah. But I, all of a sudden, I realized why the $25,000 might be justified. Mm -hmm. um, with a number like that, I mean, that is a joke. But you can kind of see why it costs that much now when you come to this floor. I think the first floor, impressive, good views, but not worth $25,000. But you come up here, see all this, See the views of the rosemary and the herbs, and it all becomes quite clear. All right, so we just saw the bathroom, right? Yeah. It was pretty insane. That's the second bathroom in a one bedroom. I can't think of any other one bedroom apartment or house or anything with two bathrooms. But are you ready for the ultimate part of this apartment? I'm ready. You are ready? Can't be better than the free Wi Fi and the jacuzzi. Yeah, the two free Wi Fi's. The two free Wi Fi's. Uh, let's just go past the third sink. Yes, this place actually has three sinks. Here's the third one right over here. It's not enough. Yeah, not enough. More. <laughs> and come on, follow me, right? And you will see probably one of the nicest rooftop terraces in all of Tokyo. Not only by the size, not only by how square it is and how you can fit probably seating for 20 people out here, right? But just the views, the unbelievable views. This is it. Yeah. This is... Beyond amazing. Yeah. How far does the sure. balcony stretch around? Yeah, you can see right over here. Actually, it's uh, it goes right over here. If you like have a morning jog, you could have you a little could, morning you jog. Could, look at this, right? Yeah. Look at the size of it. Mm -hmm. One of the things this year, obviously, a lot of people have been locked down, can't leave their apartments. Sure. We had it in Japan for about two months. Mm -hmm. But if you had a rooftop, a, a rooftop like this, yeah, you could do a morning run. You like, could. So this end. I'm not going to follow him. Hey there. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And then when you're done and you're, you're all, you're, I can tell, man, you need to run a little more. It's a big, but big rooftop. Big roof, it's a very big rooftop. By the way, it's about 65 square meters, about 700 something square feet. So it's big, right? And uh, when you're done jogging and you're all, you're all spitzen from jogging all day, right? You, uh, you can go right over there and just take a uh, little sprig of the rosemary off, put it in your gin and tonic, and have a nice rosemary gin and tonic in the morning. Live the dream, right? You could have fresh gin tonic mm -hmm. from your own garden mm -hmm. after a morning run. Yes. This is the best apartment in the world. But what would you do with all this space? Well, there's so much here. Yeah. It goes around the kind of the whole way. What right. So what I would do first off is get a massive table for out here and a big umbrella too, because there's no covering on the roof, you know? So Table yeah. tennis? It, well, yeah, actually that would be a great idea, except when you hit the ball too hard and it goes flying off the, thir the uh, ninth floor of this apartment and onto the uh, pe <laughs> pedestrians down there. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think a ping pong ball would kill him, but it'd probably hurt dropping off the ninth floor. Uh, Leave what? a comment below. Would a ping pong ball hurt someone? I don't think it would. It's quite light. Anyway, we haven't we'll come here to discuss out. death by ping pong. Yes. 
So realistically, who is gonna live in an apartment of this size and scale and cost? Uh, I would say Tony Stark, otherwise Tony known, Stark. Yeah, otherwise known as Iron Man. I think that's the only person I can think of. Well, apparently, yeah. I look like Robert Downey Jr., so. Do you think this is worth $25,000? Yeah, more so than the last one we saw, for sure. The bath is better than my bath, and it's pretty hard to beat my bathroom, so I'm impressed this time. <laughs> what would you do if this was your rooftop? How would you like change it? What would you put up here? A pool. A pool? Like a blow-up pool. <laughs> Some towels. Like make it like a beach. Get those Some towels. Sand. <laughs> a beach on a roof. Yeah. In the middle of Why Tokyo. <laughs> Just wanna ask you, Chris. If you had the money. If would money you if money was of no object, mm. yes, this apartment ticks every box you could possibly want it to tick. Mm. Honestly, two jacuzzi baths, incredible rooftop, the best rooftop I've certainly ever seen in Tokyo, in Japan, anywhere, to be honest. For now, it will have to remain in the realms of imagination and dreams. But thank you, as always, Alex, for showing us around this magnificent and somewhat depressingly good apartment. No problem. Um, you can check out Alex's website, iHome Real Estate, for more listings in Tokyo if you're looking to move to the area. Yes, and I have an Instagram as well. You can check that out. Chris is going to link to it below. All in the description box below, as well as Sharla's video. Thank you, Sharla, for filming this. She went round an $8 million apartment in Harajuku with Alex. You can check that out at the link above. But what do you think, guys? Is this apartment worth the money? Is it better than the $20,000 uh, apartment we looked at last time? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, guys, as always, many thanks for watching the Abroad Japan channel. We'll see you right back here to do it next time. For now, have a good one.